Hey guys, just want to do a quick kind of preview show of the wild card we just advanced over. Cowboys are unfortunately out of it, but I want to kind of go through some of the matchups and see we got some interesting matchups. Most of these teams have already played each other, which is even crazier. So uh, let's let's get out of the studio real quick. I don't got my green screen set up, but kind of got my videos going. So it's going to try to liven this thing up going forward for next season 33. So be on the lookout for a new and improved studio. So. We got Cowboys cheerleaders. We're gonna we're gonna liven it up. You know it's gonna be fun. But let's let's focus on the league now. So let's go over here and and check and go into studio. Room. See who made the playoffs. This is interesting. This is gonna be very very interesting. So the playoff schedule. We got the Jaguars at the Titans, Lions at the Cardinals, Chargers at the Browns, Panthers at the Eagles. So we're gonna focus on the AFC first. This is very interesting because I think just about every one of these teams have already played each other. So this is going to be crazy. Um, you got the Jaguars at the Titans. Jaguars finished the season 11 and five, and the Titans were 12 and four. And Titans effectively knocked me out of the playoffs by beating me. So I kind of hope to see them lose. But the Jags, I mean, both these guys, who knows? It's going to be a great battle. Uh, they did play in Week 10, and um, the Jags actually won this one 17 to 14 uh, so this is going to be very very interesting if you go look at the stats how these teams are doing um, the Jags are averaging 27.6 mm -hmm. points a game uh, the Titans got that beat they're averaging 30 points a game but the Jags defense is only giving up 21.8 yards a game and the Titans defense it's no slouch either they're giving up 20.8 yards a game uh, score points a game, sorry, 20.8 points a game. Uh, so they're kind of even. The Titans score more points and allow less points. And then here's the big differential thing I believe in this game is the turnover differential, which this is kind of skewed because first of the season was so out of whack and the Jags were playing kind of wild with their quarterback and they've gotten settled down. But the Jags' overall turnover differential is negative one. The Titans is plus 23. Uh, I can attest to it, played the Titans last week. He's hit sticking on every freaking hit, so you better be covering the ball and you better be putting conservative on your carriers because every, every hit's going to hit stick, and they're going to cause the fumbles or they're going to cause the interceptions. The turn, turnovers are the key. Uh, one surprising stat here is that at home, Titans are 5-3 and three this season. Um, we need to go look and see where they played this first season. Let's see where the, where the game was played this first time they played because – I really think before I can make an honest decision on who's going to win this game, I got to go and look and see where it was played at. All right, so you can see here when they played. It was week week ten, and it was played in Jacksonville. So mm, they got to go to Tennessee. That is a very interesting matchup, and so. I'm, on this game, I'm going to go with the Titans. I think the Titans are going to advance the home field, better at turning over the defense, turning over the ball. So I'm going with the Titans on this. They're moving on. Let's go to the next AFC game, the Chargers and the Browns. It's awesome to see Jay Shot in the playoffs. The Browns are a great team, scrappy division. Uh, they had the low, worst record of any team making the playoffs, but you're in, so it's 0-0 now. Everybody, everybody's game. So let's kind of look at the stats here. You can see the Chargers... Uh, they gave up, or actually they scored 29.6 points a game, and they give up 20 points a game. The Browns aren't too far behind, though, on offense scoring. They uh, actually scored 28 points a game. But here's the stat that stands out. They averaged 30 points a game against them on defense. That's tough. Um, these teams, they also met in Week 9, and the Chargers handled business winning 40-15. to 15. Um, they are playing at Cleveland, though, so the weather could be a factor in this game. But when we looked at the stats, the Browns are only 4-3-1 and one at home. But this could be a snow game. Uh, we'll look at some injuries maybe in this game. Let's go see if there's any injuries in this one because that could be key. The Browns are really going to need some breaks in this one to, to win it. But let's look and see here. Probably should have checked injuries on the other game. Let's go check the Chargers first. I believe they do have some injuries. Melvin Gordon out for three weeks. Seems like this guy's been injured more than Elliott almost, so they've both been injured a bunch. 
Uh, only one guy out, so we'll see how he does there. It's a key guy, though, the Browns, who they got out. No one. They're completely healthy. That could be big, playing at home in the snow. But, man, the stats are just against the Browns here. It's, 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 um, it's going to be tough. One last look at the stat here. This was a key one as well. The Chargers are positive 14 on turnover differential. And the Browns are negative five. So I just think Silk's going to edge this one. I think it's going to be the Chargers by a field goal in the snow. It's going to be interesting. So it would be fun to watch. Uh-oh. Looks like this game may have already kicked off. We may have to go over to that live in a second before I talk about it. But wow. Okay. We'll have to check that out. So we'll go to the NFC now try to get this going so we can get over to that Panthers and Eagles game. But that really is live right now. That would be awesome. Um, so the Lions come into this game. With the last wild card going to the Cardinals, I believe if I could have beat the Titans, I could have took this spot from the Lions because we both finished ten and six, and I have the tiebreaker, but I couldn't get it done against the Titans. So the Lions are having a great season. So this game, these guys also matched up earlier in the season, and they played, and it wasn't too pretty. It was in week fifteen, and the Lions lost seventeen to thirty nine. So it's gonna be tough. Both teams finished ten and six. The Lions score about 20 point, 21 points a game, and the Cardinals score 26 points a game. But the Lions seem to have the best defense of all these wildcard teams that are playing because they've only allowed 16.4 uh, points a game against them. Uh, I think when I played them, it was 7-3, to three, so it was a tough defense. And the Cardinals are giving up about 25 points a game. And then turnover differential is big in this one. The home team has negative 6 for Cardinals, plus 20 for the Lions. Um, and the Cardinals are only five and three at home, so I'm gonna go on the limb here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think this is gonna be the upset of the first two games. I, I went with the, I guess I went the Chargers were away as well, so uh, that one's gonna be tough. I don't really call that an upset because it was the lowest division winning seed against the highest uh, wild card. But in this game, I think the Lions are gonna pull through and win this one and, and move on to the next round, which he's gonna continue his good season. And now the game that just kicked off, I guess we'll go check that, see if it's live here in a second, because that would be awesome to kind of kind of look in there, see, I, I kind of want to do a little play-by-play -play and see how it works. Um, would like to set up some of those. I've seen a lot of leagues doing that. So the Panthers come into this game. These guys actually met in week six, which who knows what the settings were in week six. It, it, so, But it was a great game. The The Panthers actually won this game 23-20, to 20, I believe. Let's go look at that real quick and see, just to make sure I got that right. Yeah, they won 23 to 20. So that, that was a battle, but I, I can't remember if that's when the settings got locked down with the new update or not, but maybe it was. So if if that's true, then that, that could hold true. There's another close game coming up. But let's look at the stats. So the Panthers are scoring about 28 points a game compared to the Eagles who get score 30 points a game. Um, and the Panthers are giving, letting opponents give up 23 points a game, but the Eagles are only letting opponents get 20 points a game. So that's big. In both of these teams, this is really the – Best matchup, in my opinion, of the wild card round of, of like quality teams. Both are super positive on the turnover differential. So we got the Panthers with plus twenty, and the Eagles with plus seventeen. So this can be interesting in this game here. Hopefully, it's live soon. And the Eagles, though, they, they're home field, so it could be cold. Could be in Philadelphia. We'll check over and see. They're only five and three at home this season. Um, so interesting. No, none of these wild card round teams really dominated their home field advantage. I guess that's why they're not sitting with the, with the bye. But I'm gonna have to go with this one. Man, this is gonna be a tough for me to pick before we switch over. I don't want, I don't want to peek at the score before I pick this one. But man, Panthers are good. The Eagles are injured up though. So let's look at that real quick before we make the call on this one. Before we move over and check some live videos here. And then we can even look at some of the award winners and do another video on the award winners later on. I kind of do a drum rolls and things like that. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go to injury report. Check the Eagles real quick. Uh, they got their tight end, middle linebacker, right outside linebacker, and their halfback out. Uh, that's tough to get the linebacker back next week. Coleman had a great season, too. At least if they make it to Super Bowl, these guys will be back. But, man, that's got a lot to ask. Uh, let's look at the Panthers. I was leaning Eagles on this pick, too. but Oh, Cam Newton. I forgot about that. That's huge. Cam is out. The running back is out. Man. Man, that is huge. 
that is huge. Let's go. Yeah, man, wow. I think that's going to put it back in the Eagles' favor. So I'm going to go with the Eagles. We didn't check the Lions and the Cardinals injuries. Let's check that real quick. Holy smokes. He's got one, two, three, four, five guys, man, on the injury reserve. Linebackers like crazy. Four linebackers injured. So, man. I may take that back on the on the uh, Lions pick versus the Cardinals. Let's see how the Cardinals are. Well, they got the right end out, defensive tackle, defensive tackle. Man, wow. That's tough with the running the game the way it is, too. But still, the Lions got a ton out as well. I must stick with my picks, I guess. But, man, that, that one really makes this one a toss-up to me, those, those turnover differences without any linebackers. So let's kind of recap before we move on and check on and see how the scores are going on the other one. Let's just take a quick peek, quick peek at that real quick and see if we can do that. My kids are in the background, so sorry about that, but. This is fun. Just doing a quick quick little one. I got it 10 minutes, trying to keep it. Went to 11. So we're all right. Let's go through a quick recap. So I'm, I'm going with the Titans here to pull this one off. I think the Lions, even though they're banged up, their offense is not. So I'm going to go with the Lions here. Chargers. And then this one, I'm going to go with the Eagles just because of the factor that Cam's out with the Panthers. I did not realize that. Um, I think he's still been winning without Cam, so... But, man, that's just too much when your superstar quarterback's out like that because that, that's a game changer. Um, man, these guys have already kicked off. Let's see real quick. Can we can we see that, what they're playing on? Let's look and see here. What are they playing on? Check that out. Let's go back to the studio real quick. Get things set up. Go back to the Cowboy studio. Oh, here we are. So let's go check this out real quick. Let's see where they're playing. That, that's pretty awesome that they're already playing. Um, little UFL football. I need to be watching that instead of making this video. Oh, they're on. Man, the Lions are playing too? No, it can't be. Okay. Oh, they're on They're on Mixer on Nasty Dogs. Let's go check that out real quick. Let's go check that out. I think I got Mixer on this Xbox. I can barely navigate the uh, stuff on this damn thing. Oh, I don't want to go there. I want to go home. Take me home. I guess it still says episode eight, coaching the Cowboys, but we all know it's a playoff show, so that's it's going to be an interesting wild card game. Uh, I can hardly ever find who I'm looking for. I'll give him some permission. Put a password on so my kids can't buy stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go and see here. We're going to look in this and see if we can get a live look in here. It may be jacked up because I'm in my son's profile. I may have to lock him out. People I follow. Well, maybe I don't have them on. Wow. Let me do a search here. There they are. See how this looks. Will it let us watch this? I think it will let us watch it. I think I can even add in sound from the game. Uh, if I go up here, let's see if we can get some sound from their game. Going on offense again. And last time they got three points, but it was not a chip sure. shot field goal. Well, when game. you go to the yeah. sideline yeah. after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense is not too happy. All right, so the it's Eagles got to three zero. Oh, they're exactly down right. fourteen to three. Wow. They didn't punch it in Early in the first. Points. I wonder how that happened. Wow. Remember, they dipped the points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this wow, league, so you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and thirteen. That's kind of cool. Look at the end live. 
Eagles and Cardinals game going on right now. I really would like to get this set up. We did like a team speak, so Marlowe or somebody that's more energy could be in here announcing the game. That'd be cool. Wentz now to throw. Screen pass. Oh, good there. And they're able to get really this one across the, the 35. Carson Wentz, two, An eagle first down. down. Wentz, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. Let's face it, that what we just saw there, 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 not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. We're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quick. Exactly. Right. What's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want oh, to the draw press play. him, so Ooh, get him on the ground. Oh, can't get it away. That means they're all over him. Ooh, somebody's hurt. He's hurt. Point of contact, he's hurt. It's like one of the defenders on the ground. Good on the Panthers. I'll tell you what, the injuries are insane. Really, honestly, there's no way. I think Marlowe thinks the injuries are tied to, uh, to all the ratings and how the players play. But, man, 50 on the injuries is just asking for it. We've got to be pretty deep on the roster. Now. Um, it's all part of the game. At least it's fair. Everybody and the D-line pinching play together play. must be expecting the run. Sure the right. Now wins. It's complete. This is Brent Sadler. And he takes this one all the way across midfield right. into right. right. enemy right. territory right. down to the 40-yard line. Right. 23 right. yards on the play. Watch it with me, guys. Can I get rid of the child over there? And now first down following that long gain. I guess you can't. There you go. Oh, wow. There's a full screen of the game. Right there. I mean, I, let me get rid of that, too. You can, you can see the thing out there. Yeah, here's Mark. And he'll take this down to about 40. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, the coaches have done a good job upstairs. They'll file what they just saw from the deep. Right, right there. We'll that reply, I'll try that yeah, in that. and go play action. Hit him on the top. Episode eight, coaching the Cowboys up there. Let's get a win with this now. On second down, here's Wins. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. Touchdown. This is taken back in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Sign off now, my boy. Alshon Jeffrey, 40 yards.